Hello everyone. After polling my subscribers, a lot of you were quite happy for me to show other appliances on this channel apart from mainly floor care. Now obviously I'm going to concentrate mainly on vacuum cleaners and carpet washers, but I will do the occasional small electrical appliance. And today it's a Tassimo coffee machine and this is a Tassimo My Way 2. I've also got a selection of Tassimo coffees and hot chocolates, including an iced coffee here. And I got these direct from Tassimo and shopping around, I found that was the best place to get them from. They have several offers, including bundles, where certainly if you're new to this type of machine, if you can buy a bundle with an assortment of different coffees in, then it's a way of finding out what your favorites will be. You get a discount off your first order, and if you register your Tassimo machine, you get further discount coupons. Plus, I just got this order today, I did order more than this, because I think it was 25% off my first order. So I did go a bit mad. But I also found in the box these Podback Pod Recycling Service Bags, and you can put your used pods in this bag, and when it's full, you can take it to your nearest retailer that takes them back. My nearest one is a Morrison's local, which is just up the road from me. So that will be convenient. So I just have to save all my pods. They have to be clean, put them in the bag, and then they'll go back for recycling. Okay, without any further ado, let's open up this Tassimo and have a closer look. Tassimo machines are made by Bosch, but they're not made in Germany. I thought actually this machine would be made in China, but no, it's made in Poland. So let's get it open. Don't think we'll get any sample coffee with this. Come on. This one to come out. I like Bosch small appliances. I have a Bosch kettle and toaster, both in white. So I chose this Tassimo machine, also in white. You can get it in black and possibly a cream colour. But uh, as I said, I've got white toaster and kettle. And this, if I like it, will be going next to my toaster and kettle. So it's always ready for use. It's nice and compact. Not too bad at all. As you can see, I would say this coffee maker has about the same footprint as a four sliced toaster, maybe a little bit smaller, but yes, it's very neat. I've got a mains cable, obviously. I need to uh, undo the cable tie there before we can plug in, but there are some things we have to do before we use this machine for the first time. And I'll take you through the steps one at a time. There is an info, as you can see here, most appliances and instruction books have these QR codes on them now. So you can scan that and it'll take you to a page to help you with a setup. But if you don't want to do that, you could watch this video. In the reviews for this machine, which are pretty positive overall, there are some complaints about the instruction book, which is mainly pictures and not all that easy to follow, especially if you've never had this sort of machine before. At the back of the appliance, you'll find the water tank and inside that, there's a quick start guide, which again is mainly pictures and also a Brita Maxtra water filter. The next thing you need to do is to plug the Tassimo in and you should see this icon light up red. Then remove the water tank and then remove the lid by pressing this little tab upwards and sliding back. If the Brita filter is still in the tank, remove it and then you can separate the inner part of the tank from the outer one just by pulling it out and then wash these under running water. Once the tanks are washed and dried, you can place the inner tank into the outer tank. And remember, you can't put these tanks in the dishwasher. Place the lid back on. And then you need to fill the tank with cold, fresh water 
up to the maximum fill line. And then insert the water tank back onto the machine. Then take a glass or mug that will hold at least 250 ml and place onto the machine here. At the side of the coffee maker you'll find the service tea disc and when it's brand new you'll also find a little booklet. This booklet opens out with a pictorial guide on how to clean the machine. Remove the service tea disc and open up the lid at the top of the machine. Then insert the disc into the machine this way up like so and close the lid. And then press the start stop button which will start the cleaning process. Then you need to empty the glass or mug and repeat that process three more times. After the fourth cleaning cycle, we now need to remove the tea disc and store it back in the side of the machine. Next, remove the water tank, take off the lid and empty out any unused water. Then take the Brita water filter and remove it from the packaging. You need to insert this into a bowl of water and move it up and down until no bubbles appear. And then take the filter and put it into the water container. You then need to take the water container to the sink, fill it to the top and let the water filter through. Repeat this two more times. Then return the filter back into the water tank and refit the lid. The Bosch Tassimo is almost ready to make our first drink, but first we need to refill the water tank with fresh clean water. Press and hold the start button on the water change indicator for five seconds. In eight weeks, the indicator will flash to remind you to replace the filter. Okay, I'm ready to use the Bosch Tassimo My Way 2 for the first time, and I've selected this Law Espresso Latte Macchiato, Macchiato. I'm going to have to leave it in. I've, <laughs> there's been so many outtakes. Macchiato, Macchiato. Oh, anyway, it's this one. Look, the one with all the nice different layers. But apparently, you are supposed to stir it before you drink it. You don't leave it in the layers. So let's open up the packet for the first time. And inside the packet, we get two of these. Two because we've got one for milk and one with the coffee. So I think we use the milk first, but I'll just have to double check. So after a quick Google search, I've discovered you have to insert the milk pod first. So I believe they open at the bottom here, like so, so you can just take them out and the other one drops down for next use. And give it a bit of a shake, open up the top of the machine and insert the pod this way up, like so. Close the lid and then put your glass or mug on the drip tray. Now I've got a, a latte glass here, which as you can see is too big, but you can remove the drip tray on this machine giving me a little bit of extra height. I can just about get it in. I think it might be a little bit big for this particular machine. I think I'll have to go and have a look for some shorter glasses for this, but it should work. So that's the first part, now we need to add the coffee. It's important not to open the cover until this light has stopped flashing. So it's now stationary, so it's safe to open the cover and then remove the pod, put that in the recycling bag and then we can take the coffee flavour and again we'll give the coffee a bit of a shake 
place it face down, you'll see there are barcodes on the packets and that tells the machine what to do with each individual pod. So in that goes, face down, close the lid, let's press the start button and watch the magic. Well, there you go. My glass is obviously a little bit big. I have ordered from Amazon four new glasses for this, which are a bit shorter, plus some extra long spoons, because when I stir this, my teaspoon, it'll be okay for this glass, but sometimes your teaspoon won't quite reach the bottom. So I've got some latte spoons coming that you can also use for Sundays, plus four new shorter glasses that should fit under the machine using the drip tray. Before I enjoy the coffee, the lights have gone out. I can open up the top, again, remove the coffee pod, and that's going into my pod back recycling bag. And uh, when it's full, I'll take it to my local Morrisons and they can all go to be recycled. So that's basically it. We can close the pod again, carefully remove the drink. And there, it doesn't quite look like the the pictures but it's pretty good all the same let's give it a stir perhaps I didn't need to buy any latte spoons never mind <laughs> they'll come in handy and there you go my first ever drink for my Bosch Tassimo I might do a further video on this machine once I've worked out its quirks I'll also show you how to descale it after a period of time but so far, it's pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. I did read lots of reviews before buying it, and this was on offer as well. I've got tons and tons of different coffees to try out. But I think the main benefit of this type of machine is to make these sort of fancy drinks and your cappuccinos and your hot chocolates. I do have some black coffee here, but I have a feeling that it's going to be an expensive way of just drinking black coffee. I like pretty basic taste. I like the Kenko Milicano instant. That's what I drink black. But we've got Ken Kenko here. This is one is the Americano Grande. So that is an XL. So you would certainly with an XL press the larger mug symbol on the control panel. This also controls for strength of coffee as well. You've got one, two and three beans. I just left that as it was. So perhaps I'll fiddle with that. I think with something like this, it's going to be personal preference. Try the drink first. You might find it a bit strong for you, so you'll know next time to select the weaker coffee bean, so just one bean. But if you like your coffee a bit stronger, you can also select you know, the stronger coffee. But the default will always be the medium drink and the medium strength. And there are, I believe, some different um, settings, so you can actually program your favorites in. But the instructions are very, very poor, to be honest. There's hardly any writing. It's all pictures. So I'm going to have to own this machine for a bit longer to decipher what settings to use. But yeah, first impressions, it's pretty good. I think that's going to look quite nice next to my Bosch toaster and kettle. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this drink. So cheers. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.